Ryan Fitzpatrick to DeAndre Hopkins. It's a touchdown. Fitzy and Ryan Mallet. Mallet, he's too fit. Come on, man. It, whoa, whoa, I got it. I got it. Where's the O? Oh, he lost it in the dome. Come on, man. I have never heard the Superdome this quiet. Come on, man. Arian Foster finds out they changed the rules in the NFL. You now got to play against 12 guys. Come on, man. It's, it's come on, man, and we have a rookie. Chef it's Dean. Adam. Yes. It. All right, Susie, I'm a rookie to come on, man, but I'm no stranger. Here I am falling into <laughs> a water cooler. Here I am running the 40-yard dash and also at one point hurting my thumbs. I've shown up on come on, man. But from one rookie who's going to turn it to another, Tyler Murray drops back to pass. He gets sacked on the play. But look who he gets sacked by. His own guy, J.O. Sweezy, sacking Tyler Murray for the first time in his career. You got <laughs> come on, man. All right, BYU, my alma mater, BYU versus Tennessee. But let's first flash back to last year. Remember this, Cosmo the Cougar loses his head as he flips. That's taboo in Cosmo land. And then back to Tennessee on Saturday night. What do we see? Tennessee's quarterback gets tackled, loses his shoe, and Zach Daw throws it into the stand. Uh, that's not very Zach! like No, we take everybody, give them the best chance, unlace it, give it back to them. We try to beat everyone at their best. We don't kind of bad. Come on, man, Zach. <laughs> Vanderbilt, Purdue, quarterback, Purdue's quarterback, Elijah Sindelar, is behind the center. Are you kidding me? You are a college quarterback. You're supposed to be lined up. Look where you are lined up at. Hey, man, I don't know what's been gotten into you, but, man, you know you're supposed to be behind that quarterback. Elijah Sindelar, are you kidding? Come on, man. Get it right, man. All right, guys, Chiefs, Jags, Patrick Mahomes. I don't know if this guy's going to have a lot of opportunities to ever get on. Come on, man. But he's on it today. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes to Kelsey. What is going on? He tries to go with the no look. Kelsey is wide open. He <laughs> airmails it. Wah, Not wah, even wah. close. You owe that man an extra touchdown pass. <laughs> Give him one of your 50-plus Patty Mahomes. Come on, man. It's come on, man. Well, it's me, I'm up. <laughs> My slogan today is do your job. Let's take it to Temple Host in Maryland on Saturday. Long snapper Cole Lurch snaps it out of the back of the end zone. Well, look at Adam Barry, the punter. He's mad at the long snapper. Goes to the sideline. Coach, what is he doing in there? What well, the very next punt. Now it's your turn, Adam. Adam Barry. Adam Barry, you give us a seven-yard punt where you just went back to the coach hall about the long snapper. Hey, man, you worry about doing your job. Adam Barry, come on, man. <laughs> Next up, we got Memphis versus South Alabama. South Alabama lined up for the PAT. But the snap, if you take a look at it here, the snap is low, the ball's mishandled, and kicker Frankie Arnett doesn't know what to do. Memphis picks up the ball, returns it for a touchdown. Here, you have another look at it. Come on, kicker. Give me something to kick. <laughs> Give me something. Come on, man. All right. Before the game between the Colts, the Titans could start. There was a fire on the field. Fire? A fire on the field. I've been yelling for years. The refs need to be full time because they need to be professionals. Now that we have the pregame pyrotechnic team for the NFL has to be professional as well. Come on, boy. You guys, you can't burn down the house before the game <laughs> even starts. Come on, man. All right, the end of the Iowa-Iowa State game. Iowa State's Deshante Jones lines up deep. All he has to do is catch the ball clean to give his chance a team to win the game. And what is that? Daytron Young runs into him, his own man. Take another look. He's going back to field it. Gets leveled by his own guy. Iowa recovers the fumble. Iowa State loses the chance to get back the ball. Running into your own guy. Side floats. Come on, man. <laughs> Susie, Patrick Mahomes is the best young player in the league. But this is the second time in three weeks he's on. Come on, man. He throws a lateral to McCall Harmon, who picks up the line ball, hits across get the field. Up. Look at Patrick Mahomes. Get down. What this is the what world? they call a business decision. <laughs> a business decision, an obvious one. But he had to make it so obvious. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, prior to Seattle's game against the Orleans, you see Pete Carroll there coaching but as the warm-up was ending Cody 
Barton from the Seahawks throws the ball and hits Pete in the face, right in the nose. Cody, this is your head coach. This is the renaissance man of the NFL that we need more of in the NFL. Do not attack him. Cody, come on, man. Man, San Diego State versus Utah State. San Diego State on fourth and 10. Quarterback, where are you going, Ryan Agnew? You're going the wrong way. He goes backwards almost 40 yards on fourth down for the game. Boy, I know your coach gave you an earful, but Ryan Agnew, if I ever get to meet you, homeboy, we got to talk about this play because you went the wrong way. Man, come on, man. I need something better from you, Agnew. You know, unfortunately, I think the referees had a tough day yesterday. Let's just start off in this game, Eagles versus Lions. You're going to see here, Miles Sanders gets the kick, and he's tackled by Miles Killebrew and loses his helmet. No flag called on the play. Looked like a reincarnation of the exorcist. Look how his head's being spun around there, and there's no penalty called on this play. <laughs> then we got another one. Steelers versus 49ers. Deontay Johnson loses the ball to the ref near the first down. The official has some trouble getting, getting back and forth. He's trying to place the ball. Just watch him here. We don't even know where to put the ball. Hey, that looks good. No, let's put it here. Uh, let's put it there. I mean, come on, referee. There's a lot of people's fortunes riding on this placement of the ball. You can't do that. Referees. Come on, man. Come on. Seriously, come on. And now it's time for Come On, yeah. and Lewis. You're yeah, I get to start it off this week. We got the Vikings taking on the Bears. Both teams will have some running back issues here. We're going to start up here. We got Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen trying to break through the line, trying to get his offensive lineman out of the way. He's saying, move, baby, move. And Tariq, you just run yourself into the ground. What is that? You're better than that. And then the Vikings had their own issues. You got Dalvin Cook taking on Kwiatkowski, the linebacker, blitzing up the gap. And just watch what happens. I mean, watch. He just walks him back. One, two, three. And Kirk Cousins is going, hey, look, I know we run the ball a lot around here, but when I pass it, you got to do it a little bit better than that, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin, as well as you're running the football? Come on, man. <laughs> Ravens hosting the Browns. Hey, OBJ, if the coach call your play, I'm going to be there for you, dog. Just let it fly. Great move by splitting two defenders. Oh, you're going deep for Damian Ratley? <laughs> hey, Damian Ratley, this is your chance. You'd have been telling the man all week, if he give you a play, baby, I'm going to come up and I'm going to show up for you. This was a big play. We're going to see you next week, Ratley, and I need you better than that. Damian Ratley, Cleveland Browns, come on, man. See you Monday. All right, Chiefs visiting the Lions. Patrick Mahomes. Lines up in the shotgun. He drops back to pass, but look at linebacker Jared Davis. He's just he's just walking. The Chiefs offensive line doesn't know what to do. Look, what kind of skullduggery is this? I've learned a spy technique, but I mean, make it look like you care a little bit. I mean, what a waste of a man. You need Patrick Mahomes. They need 12 guys, not 10. Come right. on, man. Sticking with that game, the Chiefs come from behind, rally for a last minute victory, which gives Andy Reid the chance for a post game speech. Hey, not all of Mozart's paintings were perfect. Mozart. Huh? Mozart's paintings? <laughs> Wait, let's listen to that again. <laughs> hey, not all of Mozart's paintings were perfect, yeah. huh? And, and look who's right there next to Andy <laughs> Reid, Patrick Mahomes. Who knew that? Come on, man. It's actually contagious. Come on, man. <laughs> so, Patrick, we will be waiting for your response on Twitter. All right, it's time for Come On, Man. Randy, you're first. Well, let's get this thing started, man. Y'all gonna love this one. Now, this time it's the Bills versus the Titans. Dawson Knox makes okay. the catch. He's, oh, when? my God. Goes up and hurdles Logan Ryan, but Logan Ryan, oh, 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 you made a great play. <laughs> hey, Dawson Knox, if you're gonna jump, baby, clear the man, but sin, you didn't. Come on, man. Very like it. Raiders from London. <laughs> Derek Carr tries to toss to Josh Jacobs, but Jacobs missed it. Jacobs has a chance to pick it up, but can't, and the Bears recover. I mean, it is hard to miss this. You have to work at not being able to toss it to the, to the running back. Josh Jacobs, Derek Carr. I don't care if you're in London. This is just high school. This is grade school. Anyone can do this. Come on, man. Speaking of grade school, we have Tulsa versus SMU. Tulsa kicking off after scoring a TD. Tulsa Zach Long kicks it deep, and it goes in between two SMU players. SMU's Tyler Pate and Tulsa's Ken Darren Ray. You got to recover the football. Look, special teams, that's, that's, that's just basic one-on-one -on -one stuff. I mean, come on now. SMU. Get on the football! SMU football, come on, man. 
Come on. Look at this. Recover the ball. Come on. All right, let's go to the Texans-Falcons game. Deshaun Watson drops back to pass, throws over the middle to Darren Phelps, who makes a great one-handed catch. But take a look at the Falcons defensive back, Jamal Ishmael, trying to get the ball out of Darren Phelps' hands. Darren Phelps is 6'7", Jamal Ishmael 6'4". He's not getting that football from him. No way. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> but first, it's come on, man, I was ready to take off. <laughs> well, let me get it started for you, Susie. I'm going to show you that somebody was still College eligibility left. Before the Louisville Wake Forest game, defensive line coach Mark Alvey got pretty intense. He got a little bloody doing some drills. He even fought with a coach. Hey, coach, let me tell you something. I don't even know how many more years you got, but Louisville University needs to check your eligibility. Come on, man. <laughs> Look, we got Colorado State versus New Mexico. You got Bryson Carroll. He takes it down the field. Look, he's going in for a touchdown. Kyle thinks he scores. He's about to celebrate. Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 hold on. Bryson, what are you doing, man? Look, I think we've seen You can't drop the ball the before the goal line. Look, I think we've seen this before. This is my man, Deshaun Jackson. I was at this football game. Look at Deshaun. He's three yards behind everybody. Oh, and he celebrates too early, too. He hits the dead. He's telling everybody, hey, look. Bryson, you got to learn from the people who've come before you. Come on, man. <laughs> We've got the Long Island Sharks taking on the Bryant Bulldogs. Tim Marnin takes the pitch and then uses the ref as the blocker. <laughs> get out of the Martin way. Marnin needs to get creative for the blocking. I think it's kind of smart. <laughs> That's what we do on Long Island, Susie. <laughs> Tim Marnin, come on, man. All right, Adrian Peterson and the Redskins taking on the Dolphins. Peterson gets the handoff and fights for extra yards and gets the first down. But wait a second, before the play, Case Keenum is trying to change the play. Hey, kill that play, kill that play. And look at Adrian. Uh, no, like, no man. I am the quarterback <laughs> on this team. I run the show. I tell you when I get the ball, I'll get the first down. Way to go, Adrian, come on. Man. All right, Steve, high school Fairfield versus Rodriguez, and Rodriguez is on offense, it's going to the right. And Fairfield intercepts the pass. It should be going to the left, <laughs> but he's going to the right. What is he doing? Fairfield's Antonio Bush gets the interception. He's going the wrong way, but his teammate Karan Thrower comes in to make the tackle before Bush gets into the end zone. Look at this. Three guys on Fairfield telling Bush to go the other way, but he ignores them. Antonio Bush, what are you doing? Come on, man, that's crazy. And now, Adam takes center stage. Time for Come On, Man. Here's Adam. All right, Susie, we're going to start in Oklahoma, West Virginia, Oklahoma, and Jalen Hurts jukes out the defender and scores the touchdown. The Sooner Schooner is going to come on to field to celebrate the touchdown, and as it turns out of the tunnel, the Schooner tips over. Oh, man. Now, this isn't the first Schooner mishap. Last year in the Oklahoma State game, the flag guy gets dragged around as the schooner comes out onto the field and he wipes out again. <laughs> what the heck is going on in Oklahoma? Come on, man! Get it together! <laughs> you know, let's transition here a little bit. To, oh, no, we're not done there! We're still not done. Another wipe out. Come on, again. man! Come on, Adam. All right, now let's transition. Look, this one is near and dear to my heart. Ar Auburn, Arkansas. Arkansas punting. Sam Lloyd fakes the punt and attempts a push pass. And it's easy to intercept it there by Chandler Wooten. Now just look at this fake punt, will you? <laughs> this is football, not basketball. What are you shooting, a jump shot? You got Darren McFadden, the ex-Arkansas Razorback on the sideline looking That's at this jumper. What the heck is that, Randy Moss? What is that? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come to Carolina, Georgia Southern. Man, it's 15 minutes to start of the fourth quarter. Let's throw them four fingers up. What? <laughs> the tradition is for us to get butt wild on the field. Well, let's get buck wild. I see the coaches get buck wild. Oh, it's yellow flags everywhere. Hey, I, I, the coach always said, if we going to do it, let's do it together. So, referees, y'all going to have to get all of us. Hey, Georgia Southern. Hey, Coastal Carolina. I see you having fun. Y'all know y'all can't do this. Come on, man. All right, LSU versus Mississippi State. Joe Burrow, quarterback, looking to pass the ball. And Chauncey Rivers pulls his pants down. What? Wait, 
Joe, you got a job to do. You can't worry about your pants. You have got to deliver the football. The job is to deliver the football. It's flashback. Oh, wait a second. Randy Moss shows you how to do it real time. Really? What a Joe. disgusting man. <laughs> Come on, man. Do your job. It is time for Come On, Man, Randy. Yeah. Man, I want to give a shout out to my son, Thaddeus Moss. LSU versus Auburn. As you see, my big boy catches the flat, makes the grab. After the play, Auburn's big cat, Brian. I see you down there, big fella. Are you down with an injury? Man, let me tell you what. What type of drama classes are they teaching in Auburn? <laughs> big cat, that's way after the play. 76, I see him calling out. Hey, Big Cat Bryant, come on, man. All right, last night, Chiefs Packers, Harrison Butker attempts a 50-yard field goal despite missing it. Look at the Chiefs mascot down below. What? There's nothing to celebrate, bro. Mascot KC Wolf continues to celebrate as they miss. Dude, you got to look up. The referee's telling you. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Let's get a little college football in here. You know how I like college football. Kansas. Come on, get on up here. Kansas versus Texas Tech. And I love special teams. Fourth quarter game tied at 34. Kansas kicker Liam Jones gets his field goal blocked. Texas Tech recovers. And on the return, Douglas Coleman. We got what are you doing, Douglas <laughs> Coleman? First of all, they tell you don't pick up block kicks. Let's let it go. It's like a punt. You pick it up. You fumble it. Kansas kicks again. They win the game. Mm. Douglas Coleman. Douglas Cole, you see what you did right here? You know, pitch the ball. Come on, man. All right, did anybody notice the backfield problems in the NFL on Sunday? First, Baker Mayfield tries this little shovel pass to Jarvis Landry, but his toss goes poorly and is intercepted by Lawrence Guy along the defensive line. Wow. That was one of the problems up front, but not the only one. Earlier in the day, in Tennessee, we have Jameis Winston, Pitching out, look at this. Dari Agumbawale, and look who gets in the way. His own guy, Rashad Perryman, goes in motion. It's his teammates. NFL backfields. What's going on there? Come on, man. <laughs> and the latest edition of Come On, Man. All right, last stop. Come on, man. Adam, you're up. All right, Susie, I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Three different looks in one day, but take a look at Baker Mayfield showing up in Denver, full beard going on, scruffy, everything, the whole look. Then in the middle of the game, sort of a goatee look, and then post-game, he goes Nacho Libre on us. That's three shaves and one touchdown in one day. Come on, man. Man, that's a great look. I'm going to tell you what. I'm next. 49ers Cardinals, Arizona, Pharaoh Cooper receives the punt and cuts all the way across field. Pharaoh, I see you, baby. Turn them burners on, Pharaoh. But Pharaoh gets to the sideline. Uh-oh, he has a visitor. Oh, is it the field goal kicking neck? Hey, Pharaoh, you're an athlete. He was there first. Get out of his way, Pharaoh Cooper. Come on, man. That's the OBJ one. That fan. Come on. <laughs> Let's move on. Jets versus Dolphins. Look, you know the Jets are going to be on here after that game yesterday. Sam Darnold and the Jets on the road versus Miami Dolphins. Jonathan Harrison snaps it to Sam Darnold, but Sam is just not ready. He's just not ready for it. The ball goes out the back of the end zone. Let's have another look at it. Everyone else is moving, Sam. You're not moving. You're stuck in mud, bud. That's not how you get it done. Sam's on the sideline going, looking up in the stands going, hey, man, I'm going to be on. Come on, man. All right, this is <laughs> tough, you guys. Randy Moss coming to work at ESPN in Bristol, Connecticut. I'm sorry to say it's going to be the anchor for our NFL Hall of Fame wide receiver Randy Moss would probably like a redo on his weekend after, well, a slight detour on Sunday. Moss was heading to Bristol, Connecticut, home of ESPN's headquarters, but his pilot made, well, a little boo-boo. A 700-mile detour in the opposite direction. Randy? Hey, Steve, explain. I'm, I'm in Charlottesville, Virginia, watching my son play. He tells me an hour and 10 minutes to Bristol. <laughs> well, guess what? I land in Bristol, but he tells me Bristol, Tennessee. Hey, I got a Sunday countdown meet in Whoa, Bristol, Connecticut. What was the first moment that you thought maybe you were in the wrong state, man? <laughs> as know, as much as it hurts my heart, brother, you are a family member. You work tight, but I have to say, you anchor. Come on, man! <laughs> you did make it on time for work, though. I did do right? that. I'm very punctual. So it's the pilot who gets the come on, man. <laughs>
And it is time now for Come On Man. All right, I think we're going to start here with you. With who? With, with me, <laughs> Lions Bears, yesterday. And Jeff Driscoll throws to Kenny Galladay. Look where he goes down at the 27-yard line. Never seen a player mark the ball where he wants to mark it at the 25. And the refs take it and mark it there, too. They allow it. They gain two yards on the spot. I want those two yards on my fancy team. I have Kenny Galladay as a receiver. <laughs> what are the refs doing there giving the extra yards? Come on, man. Let's move on here to some college football, Louisville versus Miami. Now, this is something I've never seen, folks. I've never seen this. This is Dean Wiggins running around for Miami. Marlon character, the defensive back, gets turned around and literally runs away from the wide receiver. Because I've never seen this kind of thing. You're chasing him down. You've got him right there. And then you turn to the sideline like somebody said, move. Look over here. <laughs> hey, over here. And he, and he fell for it. Look, come on, Louisville. I'm just going to say Louisville overall. Come on, man. Well, I'm going to tell you what. These hedges in the end zone must have teeth on them. Effie State, now South Carolina. Five seconds to go to oh. win the game. Oh. Brian Halinski's thrown to a wide open. Brian Edwards, I just said, these hedges in the end zone must have teeth. Hey, Brian Edwards, just five seconds to go to win the game for your team. Dude, where is your self-field awareness set? Brian Edwards, come on, man. Tough night last night for the Cowboys. Dak Prescott starts it off with this John Beck, the quarterback guru, taught him to loosen up and look a little weird. Then a great pass by Amari Cooper, but look at Jerry up in the box. The one-handed clap, very, I don't know, it just seemed odd, the whole thing. Let's flashback. We have Jerry getting his glasses, you know, kind of got to, the glasses, uh, just help. The flip phone in 2015, you don't have a flip phone. Too. And then the uh, high five that disappeared. I mean, the one-handed clap, there's just some, there's weird mojo mojo going on right now in Dallas. Come on, Jerry, I hate to say I love you, man. Come on. You know, tough times in Dallas. This last week, Ezekiel, well, Ezekiel Elliott runs up the sideline, gets into the end zone yesterday, and then look at his celebration. What? What is, what, is he imitating Dak Prescott from last week in his warm-up routine? What is this, John, what, this is not baseball. This is something Kevin Millar would do to warm up the pull it down the left field line. Look, and then Nick Bosa gets involved in it. What in the world, if we're going to do this little routine, fine. But it needs to be behind closed doors. Not bring that out publicly ever again. Come on, man. All right, we're going to move the basketball a little bit. I, I really like this. Look, then you have Monmouth versus Kansas here. Less than 15 seconds ago, Kansas is up 55. They're up 55 points. Monmouth's George Pappas steals the ball and throws down the one-handed dunk. And then Pappas stares down Kansas after the dunk, and Pappas gets a technical foul. You're getting beat by 55. You slam it, that's fine. Just walk off the court. You're going to stare down the opponent who's beat you down all night, and then you're going to get a technical... Come on, man. Hey, Lou, that was a lie. <laughs> Next play, Appalachian State versus Georgia State. Before the game, Georgia State head coach Sean Elliott. Well, I would love to get in the shoving match with my head coach. Man, let's flash back a little bit to Louisville's defensive line coach, Mark Ivey. He gets physical with his players and even other coaches. That reminds me of something. Hey, man, I told y'all coaches, if you got any more eligibility left, please sign up. Both of y'all coaches, come on, man. All right, let's go to Washington yesterday. Sam Darnold rolls right, throws to Robbie Anderson in the answer. He goes up into the stands, but goes too far, falls backwards into the stands, and takes the football. Robbie Anderson still celebrates. Take a look, Robbie. You're doing this all wrong. There's got to be minimal momentum. Hardly any height. You can't let them pull you in. You have to be vertically challenged. You have to let the fans do the work. You can't fall back like that. See, you get minimal lift there, Robbie. That's the way to jump into the stands. Just like that. Come on, man. One last order of business. It's come on, man. Steve, you're up first. All right. Wayne Haskins about to win his first game as a starter. Late in the game, Jeff Driscoll throws to Fabian Moreau, makes the pick. Dwayne Haskins says, yes, I got my first. I'm going to take a selfie with the fans. I'm a man of the people. But wait. Case Keenum has to go in and take a knee because they can't find Dwayne Haskins because he's over there taking selfies. Look, Dwayne, I get it. Super exciting, your first win, but act like you've been there before, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs>
Yeah, we're going to go with here. Temple is punting with Adam Barry. We've seen Barry on Come On Man before. We flash back a little bit here. Temple long snapper Cole Lurch sends the snap out of the back of the end zone. And Barry, look, he's not real happy. He's giving him the business. Come on, man. Give me the ball. Come on. Here, Temple's punting again. Now, Barry, he gets the snap this time, but he shanks it to seven yards on the punt. And then back to this Saturday. What happened there? He puts his knee down. And the ball's dead where he puts his knee down. Barry, if you're going to get mad at your teammates, you can't have mistakes like this. You see right that right there? That gives the opponent the ball going in for the score. Temple, Barry, come on, man. What is going on down in South Florida, ladies and gentlemen? Miami versus FIU. Miami going for it on fourth and go. Watch Kevin Oliver here. Kevin Oliver, what? Are you cramping up? What's wrong with you? Oliver Mysterious to go down hurt as Miami right here goes up. Miami still doesn't get it. Next play to convert on fourth and one. Another FIU player goes down. Oh, and you look at the trainer's face. You did a good job. Miami trying to go for it on fourth and one. Nope, they did not get it. Miami, coach, I feel you. Later on in the game, Miami's down 13. <laughs> Miami, y'all dancing. I don't know what's going on down there, but, man, y'all keep this up. Somebody going to be jobless. Come on, Miami. All right, just when the Jets have gotten it figured out on the field, there's still some off-the-field <laughs> issues, like this throw. Sam Donald rolls out, throws to the sideline, and it's Jamal Adams right in the keister. Take a look. Where that pass goes could have hurt Jamal Adams, your most, <laughs> your most valuable defensive player. That hurt. And then Donald throws a touchdown to Robbie Anderson. Where have we seen this before? Robbie Anderson going into the stands. Once again, fans aren't used to celebrating in New York. They don't know how to celebrate touchdowns and wins in big plays. That fan spills a beer right there. But take a look at that young lady right there. Oh! oh down she goes! <laughs> oh, man. Hold on to the beer! Come on, man! Oh, come on, woman! <laughs> Very nicely done, Steve. But first we've got, come on, man, and Steve, you're up first. All right, you got to figure the Raiders after last night. They might be on, come on, man. Here they are. A couple of plays that we got them out. There's Coach Gruden saying, hey, Josh Jacobs is in the background. Backfield, there's Derek Carr goes back to throw, and Josh is like, Derek, I want to help you, bro. Come on. And then we have Daniel Carlson line up. Look, I have a cardinal rule in football for kickers. You can miss the kick, but you cannot miss the net. That is a net misser. John Gruden saying the same thing. Hey, guys, come on, man. Man, I want to send a shout out to my man, Charles Woodson, up in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Hey, Charles, I thought you set a standard for the University of Michigan. Here, Ohio State running back J.K. Dobbins gets tackled. But, fellas, look at number 96. Seven. Is that a number two in Michigan? <laughs> hey, Charles, come on, Harbaugh. That is not how you play the game. Y'all around there untying the man, too. Y'all should have been tackling this man. Everybody in Ann Arbor, including Adam Schefter. Come on, man. And look, Saints versus Falcons. Look, I know we can't hit quarterbacks anymore. Cy Tuttle picks this pass off. Matt Ryan, if you're going to give it some effort, go ahead and tackle this big man, then tackle him. Don't let him sit there and put his arm just right in your face and slam you on the ground, Matt. You might as well just ram past him and not even try. Would you now? Now, Matt, you're on our show, and now I have to tell you, come on, man. All right, let's go to Alabama and Auburn in the closing seconds of the Iron Bowl. Alabama misses the field goal. The fans in Auburn go crazy celebrating. They're pouring onto the field, but some fans have issues. These ladies get stuck in the bush, but watch this other woman as she's getting down. She falls down into the bush and disappears. Help. Sometimes you Help. fall down and Help. you just can't get back up again. <laughs> and when that happens, you know what happens? You wind up on, oh, come, come on, on man. man. Come on, man. If you fall in the bushes, get back up again. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> All right, Susie, I've been covering the NFL for 30 years now, and I've never seen this. A team takes off from Kansas City on Saturday afternoon, flies to Foxborough, gets out of the plane. The players get out, the coaches get out, but the equipment doesn't. The equipment goes to Newark, New Jersey, before it makes its way back to Boston. Now, again, the Chiefs were going to run the hurry up on Sunday, but who knew that it was going to be with the shoulder pads and helmets of the players at 240, just under two hours from kickoff. The equipment gets there late. Come on, man! <laughs> Let's take a look at the Big Ten Championship here in College Football. Ohio State versus Wisconsin. Final seconds of the game. Zach Cohn scrambles for a couple extra yards. And Josh Proctor 
lowers the boom on him, okay? So let's take a closer look on the sideline here. You have Brutus, the Ohio State mascot, as Josh Brocher is absolutely putting out. Look at it, Brutus. Brutus, why are you covering your eyes? Your team is winning the game. <laughs> Brutus, you guys are going to go to the, to the playoffs. You're a Big Ten champions. Come on, Brutus. Come on, man. All right, last week, the great <laughs> LeBron James made. Come on, man, with this alley-oop over the top of Davis Burton's. Huh. Welcome to come on, uh, to you got Moss last week, <laughs> but LeBron James this week. <laughs> Whoa, bro! You, look, we know you're the king, but hey, bro, you got to dribble. <laughs> look at look at boy I'm Bogdanovich. He's like, come on, I'm saying, come on, man, to the ref, probably. But hey, when you're the king, you can travel. Not like that. You can come on, man. You can do it. I see you can. But since you're on the hardwood, let's stay on the hardwood. Lamar Jackson. Yesterday looked like he should be on it. Since we in Philly, let's flashback to some of the best hardwood crossovers. Is that I, AI going against the GOAT, MJ? AI said it ain't so. That's before the Braves. Uh-oh, watch out, GOAT. Oh, let's flash him. I see you, AI. Well, let's flash back to, but to uh, yesterday. Is that Lamar Jackson? Matt Milano, he crossed you up. And you was at home, Milano. Boy, that looked basketball-ish right there. Hey, Lamar Jackson, keep doing your day. Milano, come on, man. Well, the weather tonight is a big come on, man. First things first, we've got come on, man. Well, let me start it this week. Let's talk about the Bengals and the Patriots. The Bengals down by 14, okay? Special teams, you know, that's where I made my living in the NFL. And here you have Randy Bullock, who's going to attempt the onside kick with that very unique style. Look, everybody's standing around right now. They don't even know what to do because yeah. the kick is so bad. They're like, really, dude? So that's it. The Patriots don't know what to do. The Bengals don't know what to do. Randy Bullock, come on, man. <laughs> around the hardwood. Lakers versus Hart. Raja Rondo. Man, you see LeBron James over there wanting the alley-oop. But no, LeBron, I'm going to take it myself. Look at LeBron James trying to rock Ron Rondo's layup. But man, let's flip it to Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns, what, what is this? Man, hey, Big Cat, you making a ton of money. You're a big man, and you're supposed to be agile. But I don't know about that playback right there, Big Cat. Carl Anthony Towns, come on, man. Hey, what's with this friendly fire on the football field? I mean, Sean Murphy Bunting gets the pick six. Okay, fine. Let's do our celebration. We practice a dance, and why? Oh, hey, I just did something good. You don't have to level me. Mike Edwards, come on. Now, we got Dak Prescott connects to wide open Tavon Austin for the touchdown. But wait a second. How did he get so wide open? How about Taylor Rapp and Darius Williams? Let's check it out what happens. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just pick each other. <laughs> All right, guys, come on, man. Now let's go to Army Navy. Watch this fan right here highlighted. Hand out. Up, man overboard. That's what they say in the Navy, right? Man overboard. Well, he goes overboard right there, and it brings up other fan behavior from earlier this year. Auburn fans storming the field. This fan falls right into the bushes and can't get out. But if we go back to the Army-Navy game and take a look, this one might beat the other one. Man overboard. It's not come on, man. It's come on, fan. Come on, fan. And, guys, it is time for come on, man. Well, Susie, I'm going to get this one started here. Chiefs versus Bears last night. We're going to talk about this. Now, remember, Mr. Trubisky was drafted number two overall, Pat Holmes number 10 overall in the 2017 draft. Now, here my guy, Pat Mahomes, throws a touchdown pass to Travis Kelsey. And afterwards, when he's running off the field, you see him counting to his fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, Pat, why were you doing that? Were you trolling the Chicago Bears fan base about the fact that you lasted all the way to 10? Pat, I love you, but come on, man, that's bad. Boy, so me, Arkansas State versus FIU. Y'all gonna love this. When Omar Bayless makes the catch and only cushion steals Bayless's towel, man, and I'm gonna take this towel with me. I'll use this towel for later and I'm gonna put it in a secret place. No, you're not, man. That's my towel. Well, did come and get it. No, I'm not gonna come and get it. Oh, no, he didn't. Did he come and get it? Man, <laughs> are you serious? Come on, man. Hey, Jet Steelers. Duck Hodges throws his second interception of the game, and because of that, he's taken out. Mason Rudolph is thrown back into the game. But yet, wait a second, this fan says, hey, forget the duck, forget the jersey. He comes ready, he loses the Roy Hodges jersey, throws on the Rudolph jersey, but wait, 
Then there's the Rudolph the Red Nose headgear. This man is prepared for any quarterback he controversy <laughs> could happen. This man, come on, man. All right, Eagles, Cowboys play for the NFC East title. Dak Prescott throws the end zone incomplete. So Doug Peterson, the Eagles, gets to celebrate. Doug Peterson, Levi, meet Levi next weekend. Who do you think? Who is, who is, who is, who is this? 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 Time out. Yeah, I want a four. Holy cow. This will be on Sports Center. <laughs> no, it's all come on, man, Doug Peterson, but there are more press conference shenanigans. We go to New England, and after the Patriots beat the Bills, Lawrence Guy hides elves in a shelf the Patriots podium before Bill Belichick steps up there. Uh, Bill, we saw uh, saw you had uh, some company up there at the podium, some elves on the uh, podium, uh, so to speak. Is uh, yeah, that the Holiday Spirit going around? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just what I need. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays. Bill, the line was, we're on to Christmas now. Come on, Bill. <laughs> and Adam, let's stick with you for just a second because before we get to our game picks, Adam. National champion. Come here. <laughs> all right, one more hard business left. It's come on, man. Let's go. I'm starting this out. We all know about Green Bay, Wisconsin, riding the bikes. If you're a kicker, you got a hand bike. I rode a bike there as a rookie. You got to pick a bigger bike. We go to Monday Night Football. You got to pick like a teenager. JJ Watt picks a toddler bike. Oh no! I'm not gonna hurt him. Like, what are you doing? You're a Wisconsin native, sort of. You should have known better. Joint practices with the Packers. Don't worry, the next day, he found a teenager, got the real bike, he's not a bully. Oh, do I rules, he said, he broke the kid's bike. Come on, man, JJ Watt, buy the new kid a bike. You did, you did. Man, it's summertime, but we still have a little time for baseball. Tigers, Mariners, Seattle, Cal Sager hits it to the left center. Detroit, Nico, good oh. back to look and to make the catch. Oh, man, who is that somebody at the play? Is that? Oh, and his teammate Stinson. Man, that would have been, that was uh, um, Sager's third home run. Y'all two, Beavis and Buttheads, man, make the movie because y'all two belong <laughs> in it. Y'all two, come on, man, it's all over your face. All right, Mark, my first time on, come on, man. Jack Wars Ravens, this is what you do if you're an offensive lineman, and you don't oh, like your quarterback. <laughs> if you just let a linebacker run right through there and knock his head off. Kenny Young, nobody there to block him. Offensive run, Minshew, what did you tell them? Wow. Why did they not like you? Not just look yet. Not back up, but oh, line, Dad, come on, man. Oh, there it is. I missed the stadium. Oh. Look how pretty it's in green. Here they come. Big game. Giants, Jets. Adam Gates first. First game. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. He got it. He had to spell himself. So I've been there. Adam Gates. I never had those eyes, though. The crazy eyes that landed in NYC. Adam Gates. Come on, man. For a preseason game. Woo! 